In case you haven't noticed, the days are getting colder and the nights are getting longer, which means it's the perfect time of year to host a movie night for your friends. So, let's make a box office hit with my Movie Night Mania Hacks. Wow! The first thing that every movie night needs, popcorn! But <laughs> try passing around a giant bucket of popcorn with all your friends without making a mess. It's impossible. That's why my first hack is a special snack box so each of my guests can have their own popcorn within arm's reach. Let's make my Thrifty Theater snack box. For this you'll need a family size cereal box, a paper cup, paper towels, a Sharpie, scissors, a ruler, and a hot glue gun. Glue the top of the cereal box. Use a ruler to measure six and one half inches by six inches. This is for your popcorn. Now measure two by two and a half inches for your candy. Now take your cup and draw your circle. This will be for your soda placeholder. Pierce the hole with your pencil. Cut it out. Repeat that for each hole. Set paper towels inside like this. Ah, now that we have our popcorn prepped, we need a movie to watch. That's why my next hack is a sign to let everyone at the party know what's playing. Let's make my box office box light. For this you will need a storage box, duct tape, a permanent marker, a pencil, a cutting mat, refrigerator magnets, scissors, Christmas lights, six rubber bands, cardboard, a clear plastic folder, and a hot glue gun. Put your storage box on top of the cardboard and trace around it. Make sure to cut inside of those lines. Put your storage box on top of your cutting sheet. Trace outside the storage box. Cut on that line. Mark 50 dots on the cardboard for Christmas lights. Five lines and 10 holes across. Poke holes in the cardboard with your pencil for the Christmas lights. Insert the Christmas lights into the holes that you poked. Place your Christmas lights in the old storage box with the lights facing up. Make sure the cord runs out the corner of the box. Tape down the cord so that it stays in place. Place two pieces of tape to secure the cardboard that's holding your lights. Tape the cutting board on top of your storage box. Tape all four sides, still making sure that the cord runs outside of the box. Flip the box on its side. And use tape to hide the cord on the corner of the box. Now use tape to decorate the rest of the edges. Use your long rubber bands to create six evenly spaced lines.
Place one of your wider letters on the binder and make marks with your Sharpie to create a guide for where to cut. Now use the rectangle that you cut out as a template to cut out as many rectangles as you need. Using your glue gun, stick your letters to your plastic rectangle. And there you have it, a picture-perfect marquee for a magical movie night. But before we set the scene, we have to set a place. Setting! That's why my last hack is my Encore place setting. For this, you'll need a square black paper plate, napkins, brass paper fasteners, a permanent marker, electrical tape, tickets, foam paper, scissors, straws, and a hot glue gun. Mark the length of the plate on the foam paper. Cut out two strips of foam that length, just under one inch wide. Using your black electrical tape, tape angled stripes on your first strip of foam paper. Then, tape stripes to the other strip of foam paper in the opposite direction, like this. Glue one of your foam strips to the edge of the plate. It should hang over the top just a little. Use a brass paper fastener as your hinge to fasten the other foam strip to the plate like this. Now grab a napkin and some movie tickets. Wrap the tickets around the napkin. Use a small piece of electrical tape to keep them in place. Then slide in your straw to complete the place setting. And now you're ready to roll in your movie night. Action! <laughs> Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to Dreamworks TV and click here for more life hacks for kids. And let me know what your favorite movie is in the comments below. Bye.